Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 4 of Bang Dream. It's my go, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It's not your fault. It's really more of like the anonymous person's fault. You know, making comments. Not I on herself. No, she pressures baby girl. Right? It just happens. You never know what one bad comment will do. You can't blame yourself. I feel for her. I mean, because, like, it, it's more of, um, I don't remember her name. The blue-haired girl with, you know, who, who looks like a very mm, prim and popper baby. Love her. Um, that This group, and I felt like a little bit Morty as well, it was their baby and such. But it really was more what's her face's baby a lot because of the fact that she's the one who named it got the girls together and such um even with the fact is uh <laughs> soyo's um other friend who did ballet who was all like you know i haven't had fun ever since i've been in this group which still is harsh to hear that like truly broke my heart and mori is still even as of now in that effect of just it's on her mind like 24 7 and so I get it it's going to take time I mean it is between like in my opinion between Soyo and Mori one of them and I feel like it's gonna be more Soyo she's gonna be the last one to join the group as I said in the first three episodes So we're going to talk about the fact the way the lights looked, they kind of looked like you, you know what I mean? Uh, please. Mm-hmm. Billy really like? Baby, can I say good morning? Hmm. And go.
I mean, dang, girl, don't be rude. I know those were your former bandmates, trust me. But, girl. See, you know what I was thinking, because um, from what I also heard yesterday or Thursday when this episode came out, um, another girl from another band is going to be appearing in this episode. What if Saki possibly joins that group as well? Oh. She doesn't want to talk to you. To avoid everything. Of course it was. So we gotta do it. Intervention. Don't blame yourself. No, no. Mm -mm. She's like the voice of reason. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you.
Not, not, not like that, but like, you know, just, just best friend way. E even though you two are cute together, you were an adorable ship. And you know, it really wouldn't surprise me if you do it. <laughs> right. I like how she also just came in out of nowhere. <laughs> Hmm. How about a year? Mm -hmm. Don't crowd her. Uh, oh, oh, nice save. Mm -hmm. Now I wonder, because with her, she is a part of that one group. I don't know if they'll be featured in the I'm um, not the anime. The game, yet. But um, eventually, they have to do something on her group, which makes the most sense, because everybody has gotten their chance.
It's not because she wants to be the boss, though. <laughs> Uh, right? No, man. Time out. No, you can't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, because I want to know what uh, unknown. Okay, as I was trying to finish, where did they got the game? I mean, the name, my goal. Because it is supposed to represent, like, the the first initials of their name, or I think it's, like, the, the last name. Very similar to, like, Popping Parties situation. Well, no, I messed it up. Using their, their initials of their name, it's star, and then adding one more is start. And I think adding the T of Tomati makes it start. So precious. Okay, it's only day one. her and Ion are like best girls. They're fighting for best girl for me on this. Amber is so cute, it's a panda. <laughs> Goodbye, oh my god. So cute. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, we can't go to the hard stuff already.
That's that one girl, right? Yeah. It makes the most sense to have her come in and to complete our little circle. Babe, do you even go to school? <laughs> okay. I love the fact that these four are now officially in our new group, aka Michael. But of course, we need her. I love the fact that she finally makes another appearance out of, like, well, because technically, looking at the first three, she does make an appearance in the first episode, especially when Sayo was doing, you know, working and such. Um, but my thing was, I was expecting her not to make another appearance until at least episodes five or six and such and being like, okay, well, we need to find someone who at least is another guitarist, bass, something. Because, of course, you know, typically when you're looking at bands like, ha I do it every single freaking time. Hello, happy world. Not happy around. Oh, my God. Um, as hello, happy world. They have a DJ as, you know, their unique thing. Um, same thing with Arisa Sillin, so it's with their DJ of <laughs> Chu 2 or, um, with Morphonica and Rui doing a freaking violin, which I, I will never forget the day that that happened with that group. And I was like, how in the world is a violin gonna work in a band? And I love the fact, in the, in a way of how it was twisted and mended into it because it is very unique. I think as of right now, it is the most unique out of all the girls slash groups. Do you kind of hope that these two are in the game as well? But of course, because it's a, always like a five unit, five girl unit, they're not into duos and stuff, which they could make a difference. It's about to be emotional as fuck next week. Of course. I feel like, honestly, with these four episodes, they've been very high in the emotional roller coaster, especially with the way it started and, and just how it went, because I think none of us were expecting it to go down like that. I mean, when you look at each band, I know because I can't say for Morphonica yet, because I have not seen the i think it's the hour long ova episode on them which is it's on my list i i need to do it i'm probably maybe going to download it tonight probably before i record the i mean before i record this after i edit this um we we've seen happy every single girl group in this series has had very much a happy upbringing of bringing their unit together and this is the first time where we're seeing a really much sad and tragic story with a group and then trying to mend that relationship with Saki and then also trying to have a new relationship with Ion uh, 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 and forming a band with her because yes the tensions are still somewhat high um but it is going to take time once again um I, I hate the fact that with Mori she doesn't really know any other songs. You would think that not only with her own original songs that she's quote unquote written, but at the same time, she should at least know a cover song or some cover songs, especially for Ion to, you know, get in the groove of everything because Ion is still new to this and such. And it would be smart to know this is that in the third. So it'd be like, okay, hey, let's play. Oh, give me a fucking wizard right song. <laughs> um, Black Shout on this part at 
A minor or A chord or whatever. So that she could be like, okay, this is where we're going to start. We sing like a little teeny tiny bit, like maybe like the first five, six, not five, six lyrics or like a certain amount of lyrics and such for a certain amount of chords so that she can like get in tune and then continue on from that because that is going to help her grow a little bit more. Now, I also like what Soyo, um, finding Saki and trying to talk to Saki, but at the same time, Saki still wants nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the girls of Chrysic. Once she left and once she said she was done, she, she really meant it. She wants nothing to do with these girls. But I think at the same time, because she is talking to the blonde-haired girl right there at the end of this episode, um, she is going to make her way into it. She's going to nosy on in. It, it eventually is going to happen. And... I hate to say it because I feel like it's going to happen. There is going to be a moment where she's going to get quote unquote desperate and go back to Mori and be like, oh my God, you know what? I, I want to continue being in a band with you, Mori. And making Mori in that moment like hopeful. There's a lot of things that they could do because right now as of what, next week or by episode six, so like two weeks from now, we're going to be at the halfway point of this show, which is still weird to think about because I, I think none of us really expected um, them to release the first three episodes all in one day, but I'm not mad at it. It's smart, but at the same time, it goes by so freaking quickly. But of course, we just got to wait until next Thursday to see what the heck is in store for these girls. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode four of Bang Dream. It's my goal. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 5. Bye, guys!